You balance the big things with the little things and mix them together so that the overall theme feels like it works together. The new owner, when he purchased his property, there were a lot of plants that he liked and, and some that he didn't, so we got rid of the ones he didn't, but he had a particularly good eye, and we just kind of repeated those in different areas without going crazy to the point that it was just overdone. And he relied on me to say, too much is too much, and keep it balanced. Where we started with the planting was privacy. That's pretty much the first things that always comes up with us when people buy a big estate in Key West. We worked our way from the outside in, and once we had that privacy sort of established, then you start coming in and putting in your accents and your layers in front of that. There's an incredible diversity of not only palms, but also shrubs and ground covers and accent plants. Shrubs and ground covers were something that the client had particular interests for, and so we repeated a lot of those, like bromeliads that climb on the rocks, and we had different colored bromeliads. And then in order to create a lot of interest, the different size leafed plants. So you have philodendrons that get enormous. And then you have a plant here called the purple crinum lily, which is purple fronds, but it gets to be a big sort of fountain looking plant. And it's almost a sculpture on its own. So the spa area, originally it was a seating area that had a chandelier. The idea with the spa was we tiled the whole spa like a little spring. So we used these greenish colored tiles throughout, big thick three inch pieces of coral stone to tie into everything else. But it's more organic shaped than the walkways and has a little fountain because the idea was that you get tucked away, you have your own little private spa, and then you can come back out into the garden. This pool was here and it had a lot of rocks around it and we removed almost all the rocks on this side of the pool. We left a few on the far side because they are actually the coping and then we planted it heavily so that the plants would come over those rocks and kind of hide them a bit. We refinished the pool and we also put travertine on the steps. The artificial turf area was for the dark shaded area up front and he wanted lawn, but I, we told him there's no way it was gonna survive in the shade. So we showed him some synthetic lawn and he said, okay, put it in there. And that's now kind of a nice little getaway. His favorite part are, uh, is actually the plantings right behind me are up against the rocks. He likes the way they scramble. There's a mix of colors and textures. He likes the jacuzzi. And then this porch is really sort of a place he hangs out a lot and just looks at the plants all across the way. Thank you.